Hello everyone, today we are in Pokemon Coliseum, and I actually have a bit of a different video for you guys today. So I'm actually going to go back to the Altaria, Relicanth, and Bulbasaur that I found this past year, and showcase them here on Pokemon Coliseum. For those of you who don't know, uh, what's cool about the shiny models in this game is they can actually be pretty interesting, uh, even to the point where some of the shinies are a completely different color from what you would uh, normally expect. And uh, you'll actually see that with the Relicanth later. But yeah, this is just something I've really wanted to add to the videos for a while now, and I finally got a decent setup going. So uh, all future third gen hunts uh, will have a Coliseum or XD showcase at the end. But anyways, let's begin. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you guys the Shiny Altaria. Uh, this was after 9,058 random encounters in Pokemon Emerald. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys this. If it ever connects. Uh, there we go. Uh, also, I thought I would mention, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, what's cool in Pokemon Coliseum and XD is that each shiny actually has its own unique icon. And so, as you can see with the shiny Altaria, and how it has its mouth open and you can see part of the wing, uh, I just thought that was a, a cool little addition they added to the games. And uh, some of them can actually be pretty funny. Anyways, there's the normal Altaria. And there's the shiny Altaria. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, you'll see it again here in a sec. But it seems like the shiny Altaria actually has like a tint to it. Or to its cloud, anyways. Um, which is, I just find really interesting because the only thing that changes on the shiny is its body. And yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, I'm going to cut the video here and show you guys Relicanth. Alright guys, I'm back with the Relicanth. Uh, this was after 1598 random encounters in Pokemon Emerald. And this is probably my uh, most favorite shiny I currently own today. I uh, just love this thing. Also, I would say something about the icon, but for reasons uh, that could lead me to being banned from a certain guy's stream, I'm just not going to say anything. Alright, there's a normal Relicanth. And there is the shiny Relicanth. <laughs> this is actually my first time being uh, seeing it thrown out in a battle. And like, oh wow. It's just so different from the uh, cyan blue color. I don't know. And it, I really like how. It's a uh, face changes because normally uh, in shiny relicanth it still has the uh, brownish, but uh, yeah, I don't. That just looks so cool. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the video here and go over to uh, Bulbasaur. I'll see you guys in a few. Alright guys, I'm back with the shiny Bulbasaur. Uh, this was after 27,813 soft resets on Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, 
Uh, currently still my longest hunt today, and honestly probably uh, one of my top favorites. Uh, just because of how long it took, and I don't know, it was just really satisfying in the end to finally find it. But, uh, yeah, look at that green icon. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of this model. Uh, it's not horrible, but, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't appeal to me as much as the, um, sprites do in the main game. Uh, but yeah, you can judge for yourself, uh, here in a second. So there is a normal Bulbasaur. And there's the shiny Bulbasaur. But uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just... To me it just looks like... Uh, a green overlay was put over the normal one, and I guess that's why I'm not too much of a fan of it. But uh, still really cool to see here in Colo. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm just super excited to be able to start showing uh, the shinies off here on these games. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just really cool seeing them. And uh, yeah, uh, best of luck on all of your hunts, and I will see you guys next time.